Hi everyone, and welcome to Hashi no Hanashi, or Bridge Talk. In these videos, I ride my motorcycle over some bridges and give some information about them. Today's bridges are the Benicia Martinez Bridge, the Richmond San Rafael Bridge, and the Carquinez Bridge. And finally, all wagering or betting is strictly prohibited. This is an informational video, not a gambling parlor. The Benicia Martinez Bridge refers to three parallel bridges which cross the Martinez Strait just west of Sassoon Bay. They connect Benicia, California on the north side with Martinez, California on the south. The first bridge at this crossing was the Union Pacific Railroad Bridge, which opened in 1930. Before the first auto bridge was opened in 1962, the only way to cross by car was with an auto ferry. The now southbound span, which you see me traversing here, is a 1.2 mile truss bridge opened in 1962 and named the George Miller Jr. Memorial Bridge after state legislator George Miller Jr. In 2007, they built another span which now carries northbound traffic for 1.7 miles. That one was named after his son. It's the Congressman George Miller Benicia Martinez Bridge. Kind of confusing, right? One nice thing is you do get a view of Mount Diablo going southbound. Now we move on to the Richmond San Rafael Bridge. The Richmond San Rafael Bridge is a double deck cantilever and continuous truss bridge that links San Rafael on the west with Richmond on the east. The bridge spans twin shipping channels with two cantilever spans. The length of the largest span is 1,087 feet. The length of the bridge itself is 21,436 feet, or 4 miles. The length, including approaches, is 5.5 miles, or 29,040 feet. Construction was from 1953 to 1956. According to BridgeReports.com, the Richmond San Rafael Bridge has an overall condition rating of fair and a sufficiency rating of 60.9 out of 100. I don't know what that means. also called the San Pablo Bay Bridge. Officially, it's named the John F. McCarthy Memorial Bridge. Originally, it was part of State Route 17. Now, it's part of Interstate 80. At the time the bridge was completed, in 1956, it was hailed as the world's second longest bridge behind the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge and the longest continuous steel bridge. The bridge is also visible in the 1982 film, 48 Hours.
There's space in each direction for three lanes, but only two are open to traffic. They use a third one for various reasons. For example, in 1977, there was a devastating drought in Marin County, and they used the third lane for a pipe transferring 8 million gallons a day from it Richmond to Marin. Or in 1989, after the Loma Prieta quake, they used the third lane to ease congestion caused by the closure of the Bay Bridge. The Carquinez Bridge. The Carquinez Bridge refers to a pair of parallel bridges spanning the Carquinez Strait at the northeast end of San Francisco Bay. They form the portion of I-80 between Vallejo in the north and Crockett in the south. The eastbound span, or the Carquinez Strait Bridge, was originally built in 1958, the second of two cantilever bridges. The first was built in 1927. I like crossing cantilever bridges like this. It's hypnotic like the opening credits of Taxi. The toll booth is after you've already crossed, just like the Golden Gate Bridge. And it costs six bucks, just like all the Bay Area bridges but the Golden Gate Bridge. The westbound span, aka the Alfred Zampa Memorial Bridge span, is a suspension bridge opened in 2003 at a cost of $240 million to replace the first cantilever bridge, which had been opened in 1927. This new bridge was named the Alfred Zampa Memorial Bridge after an iron worker who worked on a number of the San Francisco Bay Area bridges, including the Golden Gate Bridge and the original 1927 Carquinez span. The bridge was dedicated on November 8, 2003 and opened for traffic on November 11, 2003. Originally, the plan was to dedicate the bridge on November 15th. The complications involving then just recall Governor Gray Davis and the transfer power to Arnold Schwarzenegger resulted in the date being moved. The coins minted to commemorate the event have the original date on them. It's got a total span of 3,464.7 feet. And that concludes today's episode of Bridge Talk. Thank you for watching.